Hey guys, Manus701 here, and I have a new video for you guys here, uh, and I'm going to talk about what I do best, knifing. Uh, if you don't know me, and there may, and I have gotten uh, quite a few new subscribers recently with Battlefield 4 coming out, uh, my expertise is, is in knifing, and everyone knows me for my knifing skills, pretty much because of my video series, Knifing Battlefield 3 Pub Stars. I, I knew all the little ins and outs of knife in, of knifing in Battlefield 3 and all the little interest, intricacies of it and that you may may or may not have known about and uh, a lot of these things changed in Battlefield 4. Before I go on, this is the battle this is the beta of Battlefield 4. So all of this is subject to change. Uh, it could uh, things could change between now with the beta and when the game comes out at the end of October, uh, depending on feedback that Dice may have gotten from people playing the beta and uh, and bugs and all whatever issues may rise. So this is how knifing stands now in the Battlefield 4 beta. Most of us know about the really obvious stuff, so I'm gonna get them out of the way first. I'm not gonna go that much into the obvious stuff because I've already covered some of it in two or three of my previous videos. So here we go. Uh, number one, obviously there's the counter knife. If you try and knife someone from the front, they can counter knife you by hitting F Surprise. and you die. So try not to knife people from the front. And if you do, well, this could happen to you. Oh, no, no. Number two, you can't get knife slash kills anymore in Battlefield 4. You could in Battlefield 3. If you in Battlefield 3, if you slash someone with your knife twice, that would kill them. You can't do that in Battlefield 4 anymore. There, are, there is you cannot slash the enemy anymore and damage them. It's only knife takedowns. Number three, there is not just one or two knives anymore like in Battlefield 3. There are ten knives. Now, this is the beta, and so far we've only seen one knife to bayonet. Supposedly, you can possibly unlock their survival knife, according to uh, Battlelog, but I have not seen it yet. It appears that the only way you can unlock new knives is by battle packs, which you get as you rank up. Those are the three obvious things that most everyone knows about. Now, let's talk about the little not-so-obvious things about knifing that are new in Battlefield 4. Let's talk about the knife animations for a second. Obviously we have a whole bunch of new knife animations that are pretty to look at, but there are a couple changes they made uh, regarding the mechanics of the knife animations. First of all, in Battlefield 3, usually when you knife someone, you got the knife kill right as your knife went into your enemy's body. So after that point in the knife animation, if you got shot by another enemy and died, you got the knife kill, even though you didn't finish the animation. In Battlefield 4, it's a little different. Uh, not only do the animations appear to be a little longer, and I, I have not actually sat down in, with a timer and timed it, but they appear to be a little longer, thus making it more likely you'll get shot out of the animation. Not only that, but uh, you don't get the kill until the animation is completely finished. You get the kill right at the very end of the animation, rather than when your knife first goes into the enemy's body. And you can see that throughout uh, this video with the knife kills I'm getting. So what does this mean for all you uh, dog tag hunters out there? If there's enemies around, be careful when you go for a knife kill. You might not get the kill anymore like you did in Battlefield 3. As for the knife animations themselves, well, I think DICE did a pretty good job at uh, creating some new animations for us. Some of them are pretty neat to look at, and some of them are look a lot more brutal than they did in Battlefield 3. Here are some of my favorites that I've seen so far. We have the nasty slash to the jugular right here. This is the pretty cool looking punch to the face, then the knife stab. 
And this one here is the brutal double stab to the chest before you rip their tags off their body. So far, we don't know yet if there are different knife animations for each knife or if they're all basically the same or what. We have to wait and see what happens when the Battlefield 4 comes out at the end of October. We just don't know yet. Finally, the last thing I wanted to talk about are the knife cooldowns. Now, if you remember in Battlefield 3, one of the most annoying and maddening things about knifing, was, besides the glitching, obviously, were the knife cooldowns. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about when if you walk up behind two or three oblivious guys and you knife one of them and the other two still don't notice you, you can't just go to the second and third guys and knife them immediately after you knife the first guy. After you get a knife kill, you had to wait a few seconds to get another knife kill. It was really annoying. This knife cooldown also applied to your enemies in Battlefield 3. If you knifed an enemy in Battlefield 3 and another enemy came up behind you looking to knife you, they couldn't do it for a few seconds after your cooldown went into effect from your knife kill. I personally took advantage of this many times in Battlefield 3 especially during gloves for tags. If a lot of people were hunting me, I would try and go for a knife kill on an enemy, and uh, the enemies all around me couldn't knife me for several seconds after uh, my knife animation finished. So has this changed at all in the Battlefield 4 beta? Yes, it has. There is no more knife cooldown. Uh, if you knife someone, you can string together knife kills immediately. You can knife one guy, immediately knife a second guy, and then immediately knife a third guy if you're lucky. It also works the same way with enemies. If you knife an, en an enemy, as soon as your animation is finished, an enemy can come up behind you and knife you as well. Now I have an example of that right here. Uh, this enemy had me dead to rights. Unfortunately, it either glitched out or he got shot by a friendly, so he didn't finish the animation. But yeah, I knifed a guy and he immediately knifed me right after I was done knifing his buddy. Alright guys, that wraps up my uh, commentary on uh, knifing in the Battlefield 4 beta. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and I hope you learned uh, how knifing works in uh, the BA4 beta and how it differs from Battlefield 3. If you haven't tried out knifing in, be in the beta, I encourage you to do so. It is a lot of fun and I think it is greatly improved in a lot of respects. Uh, in the future, I will be putting out a video on the counter knife specifically in the Battlefield 4 beta as I think it deserves an entire video to itself because of how game changing it is. And uh, that's all I have to say. So uh, as always, this is Mantis701 reminding you to always watch your back. And I'll see you guys next time.